Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna go through how I'm editing video and like my workflow, workflow and the uh, settings for the video that I'm posting for YouTube or I, IGTV as well. So I use the Final Cut Pro X for the uh, video editing. I started uh, with the iMovie and then I feel like the video um, has more options for the Final Cut Pro. I know some of you have uh, used uh, Premiere also, so but um, uh, I like the Final Cut Pro so far, so I haven't used Premiere. But uh, I just want to show you how I'm organized the uh, video editing folders. So this is the YouTube uh, library I have, and I have some um, past edits from there. One of the things that I want to uh, become more e effective on the is to reduce the amount of typing uh, stuff. So I have a uh, event, an event called foundation. So this foundation it will be used for many other projects. So I have the most common um, word that I want to use, and then I just do a control A, uh, a comment A, comment C, and then if I want to have a new project. Then I'm, I can start with that one. So this one was uh, done by yesterday. So I can say new project. Um, test video. So I create a test video. So all these are the standard fit, uh, 16, uh, the standard resolution for the 180p. So I copy that thing already the foundation so I created this and then based on uh, each different model I can just add it from here so that it reduces the amount of retyping so I can only uh, I can type it once uh, based on whoever in the video so so this is my starting point and uh, the next thing I want to show is the for the insta Instagram the Instagram setting it has this um, setting 1080 by 1920 so if you want to create an IGTV Instagram specific I will just new project so maybe it's just for Insta IGTV and you can just say from here you can say custom and I want to change the dimension so 1080 to 1920 from here and my video is 59.94 frame so it's like 60 frames per second um, and that's it that's the setting I use I didn't change any of these and so if you create an empty empty uh, project right there and for those of you have some pre uh, video imported already then you can just move it there like move the video so that's how you move the video and then once i move the video i can click this transform button and then adjust the orientation so you can crop you want however you like and then i do the scaling make sure that it is uh, filling the frame for the Instagram IGTV and so this setting is uh, important for me and I will make sure that it is uh, back to the correct orientation so yep I adjust a little bit more and then minus 90 so so you can shoot uh, vertical and then uh, change the uh, orientation in the transform. I usually reduce the to zero for the original sound, and I previously imported the uh, soundtrack already. So I use the epidemic sound for the YouTube uh, with the subscription for the YouTube, so that it is uh, safe for the YouTube. Uh, if you are interested, you can just. Um, look at the description. I will have, I will post a link on the epidemic song for music. I think the subscription is like um, I forgot how much, uh, but it's 
it's like nine bucks per month so the basic for the YouTube so you can have unlimited uh, soundtrack from them and then they have creator that create music every week like release new music every week so once once I have the picture I can choose uh, the video I can choose the picture based on each each um, video theme that I have so you can just preview it like this and you can do some different cut based on the beat also sometimes I you can just uh, based on the beat and I think there's one more yeah you can extend it out so that become more accurate on the when the song has the beat on it then on each beat you can crop it you can just uh, do the comment uh, just just uh, click the B in the keyboard then you can uh, just feel free to cut it at the edge and then just insert some picture there just to make it like interesting when it is on the beat and then you have a picture there yeah that's a picture and then come back so this is how I, I'm just doing very simple video editing I don't have those fancy uh, transition um, I'm still learning how to use it uh, so this is how I organize all my uh, folders from the from the Final Cut Pro X from my MacBook Pro so I organize in terms of the uh, name and the date for the model and then I sometimes uh, remove them uh, once uh, it's like a couple months and I need to clear out my space so this is the, my quick video for showing you how I organize the video and how I create Insta video for, for the dimension that I chosen. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.